Lilo and Stitch is an unusual story, but it's not too strange by Disney standards, especially since it was produced in the very experimental Disney post-Renaissance, which also produced Treasure Planet, Chicken Little, and all those other films that don't really feel like they belong in Disney's archives. Which is ironic, considering that Lilo and Stitch is about belonging. It's rather unusual in that such a story requires an alien genetic experiment on the run from the authorities to meet a little Hawaiian girl who likes Elvis, but what was surprising to me is that these aren't actually two separate stories tied together because the plot demanded it. Unlike, say, Wally, -E, which has a human and robot element that have seemingly nothing to do with each other, Lilo and Stitch actually have something in common. They're both outcasts. Lilo has a temper and a liking of the strange and unnatural, which puts her at odds with everyone else her age. My friends need to be punished. It certainly doesn't help that their friendly neighborhood social worker doesn't really believe that she should stay with their sister. For all that, Nani is doing her best to raise Lilo. Lilo knows the values of family, knows good from bad, but she doesn't feel like she belongs. She has no one to talk to, no one who really understands her. Her sister tries, but it's obvious that Nani can't even parse why Lilo has dozens of pictures of fat people on her wall, much less why Lilo likes creepy things. Which is why Lilo finds her equal in Stitch. Experiment 626 was made to destroy Rampage and play citywide pranks. Every one of his instincts are tuned to this. He's not compatible with any civilization in a galaxy full of them. And ordinarily, he wouldn't even think about it. People don't tend to think about bettering themselves or doing something different, if they feel fulfilled. But, trapped on an island that he can't leave, with nothing worth destroying, he has no purpose. And with time to be introspective, he finds something that he wants. Ohana. Family. No one left behind or forgotten. Everyone belongs. Which is lucky that he finds Lilo. These two are made for each other. Lilo takes Stitch's, uh, chaotic nature in stride. We can't go on together with and helps him understand family and empathy. And Stitch, in turn, brings out Lilo's better side, both by making her into the responsible one and by just being a friend. In this galaxy, two bizarre outcasts stuck in circumstances beyond their control can find a place where they belong in each other. I like this message very much. It says a lot about how anyone can have that sort of connection to someone else, no matter the distance or time it took to get there. And to a degree, everything around the pair of them sort of fits that. But disappointingly, it doesn't, really. I want to come up with a plausible explanation of how all this manages to fit in with and fulfill the theme, but I don't think it does. There are many complexities in this movie. It seems clear to me that you need her a lot more than she needs you. Questions of morality, belonging, identity, friendship, and family that are all swept under the rug in favor of having a spaceship dogfight. I guess you could say that the movie wants you to make your own answers, but that's not the impression I got. The big bad evil dude is this captain guy who is... angry? Misguided? Clueless? Just plain unobservant? But he's not really related to the theme. I mean, sure, he prompts Stitch to remind Nani that no one gets left behind or forgotten, but this entire battle isn't really a reflection of the values that the movie is trying to show us. And the problems with the social worker taking Lilo away are stopped by an alien government who, outside of wanting to capture Stitch, have not really had any reason to exist until they could just suddenly solve all the problems. I think this story would be improved, albeit darker, if Lilo was taken away by that social worker, or Stitch taken by the Galactic Police, or even both, and they were separated and had to find their way back to each other. After having found where they belong, no matter what gets thrown their way in this situation, they're not going to let anyone stop them from being with each other. And we almost got something like that? We almost got a fulfillment of the theme by the characters in the plot. But much like Disney did at this time, the details got thrown together to be a plot that technically works, but it's missing heart. 
And so the conclusion just comes off as a shrug to an otherwise excellent movie with an otherwise excellent message. At least, that's how I saw it. If you think I hit the mark, or if you think I missed something, please tell me about it down in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button, and most of all, have a good day.